I still don't know how I feel right now. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture, except at living under a rock. So yeah, um, I tried doing Amphibia week by week like I do with the Owl House right now, and wasn't a lot of engagement. I don't know if it was the algorithms or people's interests or what. So I figured let's do the rest of it in a big episode and talk about the finale. If you want to catch up on my Amphibia scapades, uh, there's a playlist in the description along with my merch store if you're interested in checking out merch to support me. My gaming channel is there. Speaking of the description, there's also a link there to a card for resources for social awareness and education, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them. Um, I'll be cutting to me watching the rest of the episodes of season 3B up through the finale and then back here for thoughts, things I noticed, things I could take in, see, or hear without <laughs> screaming or crying. I missed a lot of stuff on my first uh, run through, so I'll be talking about some of that and just my general thoughts. And if people are interested by smashing the like, subscribing, ringing the bell, all that good stuff, um, I'd be more than happy to do a video breaking down the whole show. I'm going to be rewatching it as a whole and kind of collecting my thoughts. So if you're interested in that video, stay tuned. Let me know. Before we cut to everything, thank you to Matt Braley and everyone who's worked on Amphibia, the whole cast and crew. It's been a delight watching the show. It's been very needed for me personally. A lot of the themes, messages, storylines, and thank you everyone who's also been watching along with these videos. <sighs> something, something, all in hardest thing. All right, Mother of Ohms. So I should leave? <laughs> Who is it that summons me? It is I, Aladdin. Hold on, do you hear a flapping sound like a, a million tiny little wings? No? It's just me? You good? I mean, I have tinnitus. Anyway, time to go into Lord Jabu Jabu's ear canal. Me! <laughs> I don't want to go. Oh, oh, I want to go home. Mm -mm. I'm having magic school bus flashbacks. I don't like the inside the body stuff, even when I was a kid. Anyway, rub this CBD oil on my brain. Can we please get Anne's second shoe for missions like this? Second shoe. Oh, hell yeah, hop up! Trust in the hort of the cards, like horticulture? Shut up, Bill. Oh, right, right, right. Should they fight or embrace the fall? The choice will determine the fate of all. Ooh, that gave me chills. Is that us? Yup. I have powers. Wait, do Marcy and I get cool anime powers too? Wait, do they? Yeah, we're getting anime powers for everybody. Yeah, are we gonna talk about how Sprig almost used the hammer? Or did I read too much into that? Cool, or just being a jerk running the family? Sprig. I mean, aren't you just a foot soldier now? Sprig, wear your polite pants, please. I don't need fighting lesson from crime. Sprig, I kind of want Sasha to be the ruler of Amphibia when this is done. Ah! <laughs> no, get along. Try to kill my papa. Valid. Your small frog body is too frail for traditional toad conditioning. Adjust your lesson. Valid. Yay, Sasha gets to cheerlead again. Good job, Sprig. Just Elden Ring this shit. Keep dodging. Wait for an opening. We're strong and we unite. Um, this Disney character is throwing up devil horns. I am an outraged adult. Perhaps our armies unite and they'll get stronger as well. Yay, we're all in this together. Oh, hop, hop, no. Plants are cool. And I mean, farming is cool. Totally. Yes, it's like Stardew Valley, but in VR. Oh, are we in midsummer? What's going on? Bail, bail, don't drink anything. Horror movies have ruined this for me. I don't think I want this. Have you seen our snail or, or wagon? They've been stored safely. No, they haven't. Get Bessie out of there now. You're controlled by the mushrooms. Yes, I knew it. Also, oh no. I love that this is part of the main story. Oh, look at the grumpy bug. Bessie. Okay, no, time to start a riot. Oh yeah, the planet's being destroyed, so if you care about nature, join the revolution. Yay! Also, we're gonna need you to restore the planet after all the magic fracking. I love this recurring theme of isolated communities being like, oh, we're all part of this world. It's like Lord of the Rings. Ooh, all right, the core and the king. And Marcy is okay. Greetings, Marcy. I mean, the core. 
I mean, Mark Hor? Darcy. Dark Marcy. It's a reference to one of Marcy's favorite video games. We searched your memories. It's Zelda. This is her body, but we got her locked in a little room up here. No! Ube, I know what that is. Uh, I'm glad you like cupcakes. Sharing time is now, sir. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Your guard always be aware of his surroundings. Shouldn't Dude, do I know your voice? Leaf and I came up with a way to leave secret messages for each other. Oh! Holy shit, you are a planter. Planter, I hardly... That you're a planter. Look at him go! Unchain the boys! Dad supported me to lead the next invasion. <laughs> invasion? Young Andreas' voice. I know your voice, right? It won't be long before those two start asking for favors. Using you. No, Damn! Do Friendship doesn't last, son. Dude, who hurt you? Don't make me relate to the king. Uh No, I vote we don't. Doesn't that seem a little extreme? Yeah, let's not do the G word, please. The key! Maybe proud, son. Yes, of course, father. This doesn't sound like someone you want to impress. Oh! Oh, dude, bail. As a gardener, I know the dangers of messing with a fragile ecosystem. Because you're planter. But how will we invade? Don't invade! <laughs> With oh, now we're calling it an expedition. What? I joined the core, son. Our people will be counting. Oh, shit. Is your dad in your brain? Hunter? I'm just under a lot of pressure right now. Yeah, talk it out. Yay, hug. Group hug. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. Look at all them Frobos. Yeah, that's what we do with our fire sword. Run. Wait, do we not get to see what happened to Leaf? We're in her car. Only to be kept in line. And that's for you. You failed me as well. Ew, dude. Yeah. I figured it was something like that. What are we doing? Is it a software update? I was joking. Ew. Marcy's my dad, emotional not clickbait. Holy damn. What was that sound? Yay, a full intro. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, this is so soft. This is so nice. <laughs> My merch should be available by the time this video goes up. The third bill.com. Newts and tights. It's about a dance competition. That's how we'll save Amphibia, a dance off. I've twisted my could do some help. How do you do? My name's Gavroche. <laughs> oh, it's Professor Sword Fighting. Oh my god, stop showing me feet. Welcome to the Renaissance Fair. Free the snakes and the, and the beetle. I gotta say, you're not the same girl I met all those months ago. Oh yeah, it's only been a couple of months. I got lost while looking for the bathroom. Flip the P around. It's an L? Hello? Yeah, Leaf. Holy shit, it's Leaf. It's Leaf. It's Invisible Ink. Uh, Domino 2! I will eat your soul! No! Save the big kitty! What big scary thing are we gonna have to fight in the sky with Joe Sparrow and Domino 2? Oh! My allergy is the only thing that stops this from happening to me in my real life. Yeah, I was gonna say, you have a pet Black Widow spider. Oh, Wally Jr. Oh, 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 oh stop. Domino 2! Yip, yip. I will protect my Uncle Sprig. That was a nice... Final fun episode. I'm gonna chase this feeling for as long as I can in the coming weeks. No, guys, we're all in this together. Oh, mediator of the year. Getting these guys together will be a cinch. We gotta work. Who says cinch? Team building exercises. Hell yeah. Trust falls. Next, we have the trust fall. Trust fall. Guys, no, everyone dance. And yes, bow to the god of friendship. That was great. Oh, kiddo, hug it out. The last thing they're expecting is for you to be working together. It's just like the plan from that movie, War of the Warlocks. That's right. Marcy made us watch it every sleepover. And you came up with this That means together? Marcy's going to know about it. Looks like it's go time. You ready? You heard the lady. I'm not ready for this, but what about 
Anne's powers and Sasha having powers. Yay, anime. Oh, she's so into it. I don't actually care. Damn! What what happened to no falling asleep at sleepovers? That would be a really upsetting twist if Anne and Sasha weren't that great of friends to Marcy. Yay, first aid! We need to talk about Marcy. Oh. She got us stuck here on purpose, Anne. You know she was freaking out. Yeah. We ignored all her interests. Oh. Her needs to. Damn, okay, Amphibia. Can we really save this friendship? I don't know, but we have to try. Ooh. I mean, valid, but that's a problem for after everybody's safe. Look at the butler boy! Oh, I love the flag. <laughs> Shit up! Look at the rainbows! And everything's okay, the end. Oh, oh, Sasha. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're all surrounded by forgiveness. Our friends are our power. Everything's fine. Somewhere? No! <laughs> what did they do to them? Yay, hello boy. Hi. Oh, that's right. Oh, I didn't even make that connection. Oh, I love this show. Oh, I hate this show. F off with your fire sword. Dibs on the fire sword. Oh, how are the Olivia Yunin shippers feeling about this? You feeling validated? <laughs> you doing okay? Remember that super dance fusion routine we always used to do? How could I forget? Hit it, Grime! Let's see. Fusion, like DBZ fusion? Look at him go! Don't. <laughs> yeah! Anything that makes you think about Grom is gonna make me emotional. Marcy's changed. She's no longer the girl you knew. Neither are me and Sasha. No, you never that's lovely, Anne, but that's not what they mean. Just take the box. Get the box. Peace, gotta go. You're not friends, not anymore. And examining Marcy's memories, it's doubtful you ever could. Ew, f off. Your friends. And it's time to go ghost. Sasha, it's time to go ghost. Kill Anne. Whoa. No, you don't get one. What if killing me somehow extinguishes the box's power altogether? Anne. Running probability of bullshit happening. Andrew's talked to the Xena Robinson inside you. Oh, okay. All right, we're doing it. Traffic's gonna be brutal on the highway. Fuck you. Won't lie, didn't think we'd be going to Earth. I thought Earth would be coming to us. We? Flashback. <laughs> Yeah, don't eat soap. Ooh! Are we blinks? In your area? What? Was it real? Mrs. Murphy just said she wished my leadership skills went towards something positive. I wish that too, Sasha. Nothing to worry about. Oh no. Incomplete after incomplete. Damn. And do your homework. Happy early birthday, Anne. Happy early birthday, Anne. It's into the Spider-Verse. No! I mean, no everybody, but no the animals. I'm sure we can figure this out before the invasion starts. It's already happened. Pepper Ann! They're literally eggs. Uh. No! Sprig and Polly's parents. We're immune to missiles? Yep, we're immune to missiles. Lovely. Use the power of friendship. Use our words. Hey, RuPaul. Yes, let's go! Oh, we should have spent more time learning about your powers. Yay, the boy! Um, it worked. Okay, shout out to rooftop pools. Wait, what? Oh. Hop Pop's a goddamn hero. Ooh, shit. It's too soon for me to be getting wet eyes. I'm a wet eyes soft dragon. Oh, I'm so glad somebody listened to the Boon Choice. Hell yeah! Hi, Jenny. Upgrade Frobo. Can't save the world on an empty stomach. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mom. Shoes? Hey, what's that? She's never getting shoes. It's not who we were that matters, Sash. It's who we are now that counts. Yeah. Hell yeah, Anne. Hello? Oh. Marcy, focus. Yeah, reading is fun, kiddo, but we need to get you out of here. My memory is so fuzzy. Like big chunks of it are missing or something. 
Does your tummy hurt maybe, Marcy? Kingdom Hearts? Scala et Calum. <laughs> yep, no, Marcy needs to, yep. Yeah. Friendship! Your no! Oh my god! <laughs> Hell yeah! The quicker we fix this mess, the quicker things can go back to normal. Normal? Yeah, you know, Ian and us just hanging out. Monster of the week stuff, yada yada. Oh, buddy. We're all in this together. Good luck out there. See you on the other side. And you two are both gonna be okay, right? We just hugged because we like hugging. Are you photoshopping this? Uh... Mr. Boonshoy knows video games. He's a pro gamer. Good luck getting me to care about Andreas. Andreas, huh? Can I call you Andreas? Ooh. Oh, gotcha. Too personal. Yay, thank you, Marcy. Boundaries indeed. Okay, well, we understood a boundary. Oh, oh. And then you stabbed her? No, I got it. I have Sauron. Yeah, I get it. He's being god. Oh, evil controlled. Buddy, when your dad behaves like he behaves and looks like that, maybe it's time to dip. Your actions still have consequences, sir. Domino 2! Hell yeah, Anne! Oh, have fun with the anime shit. <laughs> oh my god. F yeah, Hop Hop. And nothing bad happens at the end. Oh! Oh. I was not expecting the herons to come back, won't lie. No, not invisible boys. Hey, no, Marcy. I'm so sorry. Oh, Marcy. <sighs> this is how you trap the nerds. And is Link. Oh. I mean, focus. Sorry. I think we may have a tiny bit of trauma left over from when <laughs> That's valid. Oh, that's valid. I know we can get through this too. Together. Yeah. Save them. Sa I no. They're not taking more parents. F you. Drawings aren't meant to move. I quit cartoons forever. Yay! Oh. Ooh, that's that's ooh, that's 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 real satisfying, real good. Oh, ha. oh, I love this. I hate you all. Oh, we're doing a Star War. Okay. Does that matter? I... Stop. <laughs> Damn this show. Like, I get it. You can't just, like, murder them, but I would have been totally fine with it, but also, yay. The perfect cast. Ever seen anything so beautiful? That's pretty great. I've never been more grateful for commercial breaks so I can just take a breath. Bring me that Boonjoy girl. Break your life if you have it. Ew! Hell yeah, be careful. You're with me, General. Likewise, Milady. That counts. <laughs> what? Does the shield generator think for itself too? Oh. You really think you can manipulate the queen of manipulation? Thank you, Grime. <clears throat> well. Well then. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, that scared me. Dude, hell yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to use your powers at some point. What is that? We're gonna have an anime mech fight. Let's go. I'll call off this whole invasion if Anne Bonjoy beats me in single combat. Done. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, probably. Oh, damn. And these months we've spent together have shown me the person I really want to be. Yay, hugs. Let's go. This is scary and fun. A scruffy little girl with one shoe of leaves in her hair. Yet underneath it all, a true warrior. Yeah. <laughs> She's still doing research for that essay. Oh, God, go. You got the sand. Oh, you got the sand. Everyone needs to, we're on this to crime, crime, crime. Sasha, take a sword. Wait, what? Uh, oh, 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 are you fucking kidding me? Are you happy now? Someone lost an arm. You can do this. No. Is he, is he unconscious? What the f 
Ah, yeah! My tummy hurts. I don't want- I- But it's so cool. But, oh, shit. Yes. Hell yeah. S stop! Ah, oh, shit. You can't just give her the sword and then don't. Ooh. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I can't even enjoy this. I'm so clenched. I'm so clenched. Why are you bleeding green? Oh, fuck that. Ah! Oh! You can get. You get. What the f? Oh. Never mind. I want to stay here in the Zelda place. Oh shit. Forcing them to follow my dreams is wrong. Accurate. I you. Yay, the power of friendship. Oh, ew. Everyone's o Sasha's okay, right? Shit. Play more K pop. We have to awaken the rest of the sages. Something. And then RuPaul figured out the secret message. Off. This letter is encoded with special ink. Dear urine. Oh. Go, boy. Work with your dramas. They're not gonna fake kill him twice, so he's he's probably the best bet. I have a message from Lee. Ooh. How oh, do you know that name? Because you're about to kill the rest of her family. The beauty of life. Is the change. Oh. My only remaining wish is that somehow, someday, my love reaches you. So I'm begging you. Ooh. Best friend, don't close yourself off. That's not what it says at all. No, I'm kidding. I thought you had forgotten me. Okay, thank, uh, Jesus, thank God. Like, it looked like she slashed her spine. Wait, did she slash her spine? Your son is losing the will to fight. <laughs> Ew. Don't chaos control the man. Uh, yep. Bad parenting. Oh, thank God. Grime's okay. Okay. Oh. I am not that person anymore. You missed. No? Yay. Okay. Thank God. What, you didn't pay for the mobile connection? It has to be Wi-Fi? Should have gotten the, the 5G model. I'm done making jokes. And Jesus, but yeah. You won, Andy. Yay. Whoa. I thought it was just magic. Holy shit. We love you and we forgive you. Ooh. Yay. Yay. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yay. Yeah, also, technology. Oh, Sprig. Now come here. Ooh. Okay, so everyone's okay. Yay. Right? I'm not mad, but just like that? What about other people having powers? Yay, Frobo hug. Gundam hug. Oh, shit. Mr. and Mrs. B, could you and her parents know we're okay? Yeah. Surrounded to mobile attack with all over TV, it'll be easier to explain. Yeah, no shit. What about the letters and scent? Bye! We are victorious! Yay! Right? Right? Prophecy? What prophecy? Is it just me, or is the moon getting closer? Oh! Ho oh, ho ho! Shit! Um... Um... Dude, what the hell? Hey, stop! Stop! Okay, well, we have three days to solve that shit. My head hurts. I'm so stressed out. Ooh, all right, let's do it. We are Yay, the end. Okay. Evil mask. It's Zelda. Is It's going into... Okay. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VII? The moon became home to some of the core's pet projects. Ugh. I've been in that thing's head. I know that more than anything, it's afraid of being destroyed or being irrelevant. I don't feel any emotion for this thing. It's a giant sore loser! Exactly. Now let's kill it. So, how did it go? It went great. We got some black pink. It was great. Use the stones to destroy the stones. There might not be enough energy left for us to get home. We could be stuck. Oh. Don't forget about the secret spell. The what? But summoning such power, punching powers. The life of the user. 
Uh, or it could be like a Captain Planet. No. This spell. How do we use it? Anne. Hey, what's up? Aurora Borealis. Think of your memories of Amphibia, of how much this world means to you. Oh, that's meta as hell and I love it. I don't like seeing things get stabbed into Anne. Play the song of time. Hell yeah! I love Sasha's fire hair. Oh, they all look great. True colors too, full throttle. Yeah, let's go anime showdown. <laughs> oh, it's a kitty. Oh, and the music. Oh, this is just fun. Let it stay fun. Yay, cheerleading powers activate with wings. It's just a victory lap, nothing, nothing sad. Oh my God. Ooh, I love that it was a bunch of weapons. Yay, and now we're all being happy anime intros that's at the end dude no okay well you had your chance to be at least somewhat redeemed oh yay well me okay i was gonna say leaf wrote a very lovely essay told you it's true colors two full throttle <laughs> uh uh oh no don't no. I want to call upon the power of all three stones. I may die in the process. Uh. Everyone else will be safe. Did you just say the D word? Now it's your turn to follow my lead. Please. Ooh. Yep, that's. The arc is complete. Oh, oh. Wait, now they're in space with no magic. Oh. No. My friends are my power. It's Kingdom Hearts. It's fine. Can you help me see the world I love? Ooh. Uh. Uh. Holy crap. Oh, buddy. Please don't do this. Don't go. I know what I'm Oh, God. Why? You changed my life. Oh, I don't want this. I, I guess that's better than him staying there, but oh, my. Uh, oh, God. And your face. Y y yay? Oh, God. The lack of color. Oh. Wait. Don't you need a moon? Oh my god. It's okay. Saving this world was the best decision I've ever made. Ah! I never got to see love Joyce. I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. <laughs> ah! But what you just. Yeah, fix it with magic and friendship. Oh shit. Three stones would like to chat. Ask your parents permission, Anne. <laughs> ASL? Oh! I have taken the form of your destructor. Hello, I made a copy of you right before you expired. A backup, if you will. For all intents and purposes, you're the same and good joy. Wait, what? Just to watch your oh, you are. I'm not in the demographic, though. Ha! <laughs> ah! I was hoping you would consider being my replacement. Me? Yes, you. And will you be God? Are the benefits good? Do I have a choice? Well, of course you do. I'm not a jerk. Huh. I'm gonna have to pass. No. You're the only mortal who qualifies. You're perfect. No one's perfect. My time that oh. I am working, oldest fashion, the least accepting place, ended up accepting me as one of their own. Yeah, that's true too. I have my whole life ahead of me to make bad choices and learn good lessons from them. Yeah. Oh, I love this show. Whoa. You're still so cute. Oh, God. I... My brain can't even wrap around this yet. Oh, <laughs> don't. Oh, <laughs> yay, I'll take it. I Shards of Destiny. Yay, it's to get them home. Okay, good. Oh, <laughs> yay. It's over. It's finally over. Whew. Shut up, Disney Channel. Are we gonna get a new moon too? Are they gonna be okay without a moon? Oh, my asshole. Oh, I've been so clenched. <laughs> Shards. So if we use these to return home, there's no coming back. Not only that. Damn. How long the hold for? Could be hours, could be minutes. Oh, I was gonna say, let's take a tour of Amphibia before we go. Well, shit. Oh! <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. In a way, you helped us see what was important as well. Confirm the ship! Let's go, vibes! <clears throat> I knew it. Oh! <laughs> Kiss me. 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 K
you got damn right. Process it your own way. But, you, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> So to have a granddaughter like you. Don't, oh, do it <laughs> right in my emotional cord. Oh, buddy, oh, oh, my head hurts. I'm so dizzy. Spraying against the world, spraying against the world. Yeah, oh. I want you to have this. What? Yay, maybe one day you'll invent cell phones or it'll just be an ultimate flashlight. And pictures of your time together. Oh, Bill, shut up. Ha ha ha. The box sharded, am I right, guys? Ha ha ha. Silly frog show. Silly frog show. Take a goddamn bow. Oh, stop. You already did enough. Stop. And it's a leaf. And there was leaves in her hair. I never even connected that. And now it's too late. Now you're just bullying me. Oh, look at the boy. <laughs> they just gave him the Thanos ending, literally. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at her grow up! Milady. <laughs> One more time. I know, sweetheart. We all know. Oh, I'll allow the interruption. It's fine. California avocados, he did it! And it's a low key Gravity Falls reference. I love it so much. They gave her the Balto. F yeah, also. Shout out to the real Balto. Oh, oh my God. Okay, it's been 10 years. Holy crap. Look at her. Sasha! Oh, we're all big kids now. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Anne's birthday. That's the 10 year old. Oh, oh, yes, yes, vibes. Oh. Is that degree coming Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any Icon. Did you and Anne hang out much after I moved? At first, yeah, but we kind of fell into different friend groups in high school. We still talked, but. Oh, that's fine though. No, <laughs> she does she run in an aquarium? What? Oh, <laughs> don't you f dare. Maybe even spring after a dear, dear friend of mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, frog lady. Oh. Ooh, I don't need an Owl House reference right now. I want to go home. Oh, and it is called Amphibia. Oh. <laughs> well played, you evil f***s. I'm sorry for swearing. Oh. <laughs> and they're different colored adult beverages. What does that say? Oh, I loved it. Oh, <laughs> I need a minute. I'm still discovering things having thoughts, connecting threads, realizing the loose threads. Um, I really want to know what people think in the comments of the finale, so if you made it this far, feel free to let me know. I felt like things that paid off, paid off in a really nice way. It was, first and foremost, a lot of fun and a lot of heart, which are the best elements to play with here. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around Anne being dead, and not dead. I really liked season three, going to the human world, uh, discovering the changes that are, you know, happening in Anne's life, the way her parents view her versus how she is now, something we'll see a lot with Sasha when we get back to Amphibia. Seeing the fallout from True Colors, uh, both in the lore and the story, but also the characters, speaking of Sasha, as well as Marcy, and then seeing everybody kind of come together for this final clash. I really liked kind of getting to at times have our cake and eat it too. We have the big fight in All In where Anne's, you know, oh, the emotional support system of uh, of her family and playing Black Pink and like that charging her up for this final fight, but she still fails. I like that because essentially this whole thing happened because she failed the first temple. And speaking of the temples, we get them all coming back in some way, those lessons there. Sasha not giving up, her trying to like, you know, lift herself up with her sword to take on Darcy. Marcy learning when to stop the puzzles, think outside the box, literally. But then we have Anne failing to, at the top of yet another tower, help an enemy. I found that all really interesting because at the end of the day, the responsibility doesn't all just land on one person. I mean, yeah, it extends mostly to the trio and their powers, which again, fun, colorful, exciting, the music, everything about it was just, you know, after having something as heavy as True Colors, it was really nice to have something centered in action that was also very fun, but the stakes from True Colors 
cement throughout the whole show, and I appreciate that. Feeling like at any moment we could have another Marcy tummy ache, we'll call it. And then once we get to the power of all the stones combined into Anne, I love the visuals of it. I just, I still just can't quite wrap my mind around the sacrifice. I appreciated the meta context of <laughs> little Domino, the feeling of the, the Guardian stepping in and posing this meta question of, well, what do you do? Do you end this 13-year-old girl's story now, or do you send her back and let her live her life and wondering what her life would be like longer and fulfilled. I appreciated that what do you do here kind of moment, but Anne's dead and that was a clone kind of, but also not really. I'm trying not to think about it too much, even going so far as to see the overattachment to the past. We see it the most in Anne versus Andreas. Anne, Andreas, can we call you Andreas? I liked seeing this version of Anne who's still controlled by somebody else. Darcy made a joke, you know, you like to manipulate people, check out this, chaos control. It really does show you this is what Anne's life would have been like if she let other people push her around. And so it was interesting to kind of slowly fall more and more in, in love with the concept of Andreas and the, not mind control, but like influence there. Cause it was somebody who couldn't forgive, couldn't let go kept being influenced by others, and I, I liked seeing that between Anne and Andreas. I also really liked Andreas' ending too, because he wasn't like redeemed. It was sort of this peaceful acceptance, again, acceptance of the realities, the painful realities of the past. He's like chained up and he's like planting trees, but his his chains were also like broken. So you could see him po like possibly running away, but he's not. He's accepted his punishment. He's accepted his choices. It was a nice middle ground for me when I noticed that detail and also the impact that Anne left on everything. There's leaves in his hair connected again back to leaf i can't believe i never noticed it until it was too late i loved just like i said a lot of fun but also seeing the weight of everything that's at stake the herons almost getting the boon choice which was frightening for me i was a little surprised we didn't get more of the boon choice seeing darcy command the armies with like a real-time strategy game kind of vibe i was expecting and really hoping for like Anne's dad to be some sort of strategist because we saw him playing those kind of games uh, in previous episodes and then also seeing the connection the planter Forge with the Boon Choi's being what kind of helps them. The trauma will always be there, but push through it and take a stand. And again, in this like non-violent way and tapping into like uh, ability, the, the hunting dance, there was something so terrifying and also so very beautiful about it. And it looks so serene when they're doing it. Like they're all in the zone. Polly needed to have legs to do that dance too. And it was never directly stated, but I loved feeling that in the moment it's like you see all their feet going into that position as funny as it would be to see Polly like bounce up and down it was lovely to feel that and taking that one-on-one -on -one dual challenge head-on and that not being the real answer here because she she wins the battle eventually sure kind of but also her mistakes and not being patient and the stone is charged enough let's go that mistake being the whole thing that is the catalyst for all of this her having her power getting back to amphibia sharing that power, it all links back to not only these choices, but also her sense of selflessness and responsibility. I'm just still trying to wrap my mind around the sacrifice, but I loved the visuals. I appreciated the fun of the, the Calamity Trio getting their anime powers and the cheerleading coming back, rolling the D20, the kitty cat tennis laser beams. It was so fun. And then it had to go back to this grounded place. And I really appreciated those ups and downs, those ebbs and flows. I loved the energy of this and and sacrificing herself. We keep reaffirming that she will die and for all intents and purposes, she did. Even commenting, this will fill me with existential dread later. I just, I still don't know how to quite take that in. And I, I appreciated taking that time to give her a choice. I feel like end of the day, that sacrifice yielded these possibilities forward to her. And again, that notion of think how much more growing learning and fulfillment you'll have not only as a person but as a character in a story if we send you back getting to take those final goodbyes and then like just perfectly orchestrating everything to where we the audience also have to let go keeping everyone separated there's no mention of visiting each other or a magic portal window mirror thing or anything like that and everything down to charging your power from the gems back up by connecting to your memories of amphibia it just had this very caring meta layer to it while the crew is saying 
goodbye to the show, helping us to kind of say goodbye to the show as well and taking the messages to heart. Like I said, just having fun, even down to like all the details in the 10 years later. Polly's grown up. Sprig's going on an adventure with his freaking Gravity Falls journal, which I love that little touch there. Undefined uh, adventure potential that lays ahead of everybody, as well as then the grounded potential of our characters who stay in our world, right? The three girls go back, they grow up. You get some idea of what they're doing right now. Not so much always a career, especially Marcy. She has a webcomic going right now, which is great. <laughs> I feel like Sasha kind of wins the epilogue in my mind. I love that she's a guidance counselor and she's helping kids through their stuff because she too has obviously gone through so much. I just wish we had gotten Marcy and Sasha's parents, especially after the letters. It wasn't crazy important. It would have been interesting to see. It also would have, I think, taken away attention from the boon choice if everybody's parents were geared up in super suits for the final fight. It just, it just hit on such a specific thread for me. The aquarium coming back in a way that comes full circle from let's not think about saying goodbye to Anne. Oh wait, we're being reminded of all of our adventures oh no, oh no, oh god, oh god, oh god. If you go back to that video, I expressed a lot my personal connection to, to aquariums and zoos and things like that and science and my grandpa and that already hit me like a ton of rocks, but I loved the coming full circle. Like she's now invested in learning about animals and teaching kids and, uh, and they called her the frog lady, which you can't convince me that's not a little tip of the cap to uh, the owl house. It's also maintaining that connection in a healthy way back to Amphibia and the understanding of, you know, yes, Marcy's parents still moved. You know, Sasha and Anne didn't spend every minute together. They've all been apart for so long, but their connection's still there, like proof in the pudding of the, of the lesson and the message. And I really love that, especially as someone who's had to move several times. It, down to like these little details too, that just straight up felt like the crew themselves developing this amazing fan art for everything. The patches on Sasha's jacket being the the two heron swords, the her glasses even having the two colors of her swords, Marcy's clothes design, her pins, she's still clumsy. It, everything just had like weirdly specific detail that it, it felt, again, being fans of your own content. I, I hope this comes across as positive because that's such a positive thing for me. Like it felt like it just that mutual love. Sprig even has not only drawings of Anne in the background, but also uh, a Taigo menu, which uh, Olivia and Yunan also being together filled me with like a lot of joy. Joe Sparrow and... <laughs> and Bessie having a child. <laughs> All these things happening, you know, that's the constant theme throughout the whole show. Change and what happens when we divert from those paths, the lessons we have to learn, but also the reality of we may not learn all of them. Addressing the fact that nobody in this show is perfect or ends this story perfect, but in a good way place because this show like really messed with me like even down to the meta of here's a 45 minute finale haha <laughs> psych yeah you know you saw an imdb that this is gonna be 48 minutes or everyone was talking about it and it's like i guess the final episode's the epilogue Hey, <laughs> nope I liked that. Playing on those tropes and keeping things fun and fantas fantastical, blah, fun and full of fantasy, also keeping it grounded and as real as possible, kind of threading that line really nicely for me. One of my notes is emotional support in your area. I don't know if that's clever or not. And the constant theme, not only of change, but also growth, fighting against not only our enemies, but it was so simultaneously fighting who we were versus who we are. The confirmation through action of our change and our growth and the direction we want to go and then the work to get there. The concept of going back to normal. There is no going back to normal. You know, everything moves forward. Sprig wants to go back to the episodic fun adventure episodes, and sometimes I do too, but man, that's not how life works, and I, I appreciate this feeling of time moving forward, and then we actually get time moving forward a lot. The weight of seeing these characters having to, like, accept loss, change, grieving, letting go, saying goodbye, taking all those times to solidify we can send you back on a one-way trip, leaves you in the reality. This, this, this door has to close. You can't go back. Who knows what happens in the future? That's just as exciting as the importance of being solidified in our choices and change. The control that this collective hive mind 
you know, these three girls, if they had never gone on this journey and kept being in their self-destructive bubble, not only with themselves, but also with each other, it would have created a similar situation, but without that fantasy lens to it, right? I'm hoping to get more sense of things um, when I do my big amphibia video in the future. Again, let me know if you want to see that. Um, my plan is to make it, so encourage it, I guess. Like I said, I think the hardest thing for me is still to wrap my mind around and sacrifice because we see the story of this of this character gaining self-value and self-worth and then sacrificing all that. I don't know. I just always took the message of the Second Temple to be that there's a responsibility to empathy and selflessness. Like, you need to also th consider and think about yourself. And that's just it, is maybe that is kind of the idea, is the selflessness of the sacrifice begetting the selfishness of, I don't want my character, my main character to die, let's send her back. It definitely wasn't a negative, it was just so shocking, everything being a choice. The choices we make is what defines us, but that's also not concrete. We can make more choices to redefine ourselves, and then we have to keep making those choices to solidify the redefinition, essentially. I really loved the finale, and I didn't even mind the sacrifice. I'm just still trying to make sense of everything, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, check the settings, blah, 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 YouTube words. There's so many things in the description. My gaming channel, where I stream twice a week. My merch store link is there, as well as a card for resources for social awareness and education, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? I don't know quite yet what it will be, but I'll have a live stream in June as we raise money for the Trevor Project. Be on the lookout for that. Owl House videos on the weekends and then whatever the heck I do next, I don't even know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, for everyone who enjoyed the week by week stuff, thank you for your patience. I never take it personally, but if I have to restructure when things aren't getting a lot of engagement or a lot of love, that's just what I have to do sometimes. And it was good for my rest. We'll also just say I needed rest because that's, that's true. Value yourself, Bill. That's the point of Amphibia. Um, but I hope everyone's staying safe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, wear a mask if you choose to go out. Be mindful of others. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.